Hi everyone, it's Chris Ward with a micro nugget on adding Call Park to Link 2013. Now for many of you, if you've ever used an, maybe a legacy or an old PBX system where your phones were all tied in, you might remember Call Park. The ability for you to take a phone call that comes in and you go, you know what, I'm at the, uh, you know, I'm in the break room. I'm going to park that call off of this phone and then go to my desk and retrieve it. Well, Link 2013 gives you that capability. In fact, I think even better because you can pick it up on your mobile device, you can pick it up at your desk or whatever Link enabled device you have. Now, in order for Call Park to work, you need to have a place that the phone call can be placed. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of funny. Think of it as like a shelf. We need to be able to take a call. So if I take a call and then I need to call my good friend uh, Brian Alderman and kind of maybe send him a text or an IM over link and say, hey dude, here is a call for you. And then he can click on the link and get that back. Well, we need to establish the call park orbit. And that means that we are going to go ahead and use some PowerShell commands. So I've gone ahead and I have this over on a separate uh, text file, but uh, you, that's why I'm able to type this rather quickly. And you can see we have all of that information. First off, it is a new communication services call park orbit. The identity is going to be called the London orbit. And the call park service is over here on our London standard edition one. This is our front end server. Our number range start, we're going to use star 500 and then end at star 599 and then verbose. And remember, the recommendation is always start with a pound or a star so that way it isn't like a regular number. Plus, call park numbers cannot be normalized. If they're normalized into an E.164 number, they're no longer good. They just won't work. So we go ahead and we hit enter on that. It says, all right, this is the operation we're doing and bada bing. Bada boom, London orbit, it, here is our number range start, our end. We know where the call park service ID is. It's over on this application server. And here is the fully qualified domain name. Now let's go ahead and do this over on another server because in this environment that we have, we have uh, two, obviously, sites that we have our London and then we also have our Redmond. So I want to be able to do that. Now the cool thing is, even though I'm on my uh, London uh, SE right here, my standard edition or my front end server for Link, I can go ahead and do this for Redmond as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I've copied this. So I go ahead and type it out. And again, we see the typing. And this time we call it the Redmond orbit. Notice the number range, though, is different, 600 to 699. And notice where the call park service is going to go. It's going to go on my Redmond front end server. So we go ahead and hit enter on that, pretty much doing the exact same thing. But now I've got the ability to park a call in my London orbit. And then I've got the ability to park my call over in Redmond as well. Now that we've done that, when you do park a call, you don't want to have silence because a lot of times people will be like, hello, hello, Chris, did you put me on hold? Is the phone working? You don't really know. That's why it's always good to add some music on hold. So we're going to want to enable that by typing in set CS, CPS, call park service, configuration, enable music on hold. We will say true. I'll go ahead and do the verbose so that way you can see it. Notice this is set because I have not specified a pool or anything else. This is a global setting. Performing operation, we did it on their global and boom, it is done. We have that set up. But so far, all I've done is I've enabled, I have not assigned it to any of the voice policies yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and make this a universal policy by simply going in and setting this, type this in, get CS voice policy, which is going to be our global, set it at that le level, enable call park true and verbose. So that way it is set up and ready to go. So I go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to in and it sets it up and notice because it is at global, right? We're setting it up at global. It will then go in no PSTN usage specified. So people granted will not be able to make outbound PSTN calls. That's just by default. But what we're really trying to do is put that call policy in place. So notice it then because it's global automatically rolls down to Redmond, New York and London. So it is set up and ready to go. And so now I just pulled up my link server control panel because it took a little while and I didn't want you to have to sit there while I was opening this up. But notice under my voice features, under call park, now I have my London orbit and my Redmond orbit. Notice the number ranges are set up and ready to go. So now when it's time to go ahead and park that call, not a problem. I can take a call, 
park it. Brian Alderman out there on uh, his unit will get maybe a instant message from me going, hey, Brian, check out this call. It's somebody who needs to talk to you about the new SharePoint series and the Office 365 you're doing for CBT Nuggets. He can click on it, boom, and that call will then be unparked onto his link client. Really cool stuff. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for joining me.